Oh my goodness, look at my hair. <laughs> it's time to get this mess together from pineapple to detangled and ready for some braids. My favorite conditioner, I'm going to use it to detangle my hair and comb out all the kinks and the curls so that I can do my other treatments. As you can see, this is why it's my favorite conditioner. It's so much slip. It smells so good. Perfect for detangling. I'm really serious about doing whatever I can to retain the length of my hair. So you'll see me being very particular about how I detangle the knots in my hair. Instead of just like ripping my hair apart, I really take my time strand by strand, as you can see here, pulling the hair up and away from the bottom of the knot so that it can get completely detangled and I don't lose any hair or rip out any of my ends. For me personally, this is just a trick that I discovered that works for me the most. You pull the hair up and you separate the knot piece by piece, I guess you could say. Instead of pulling it out like I did, you pull it up. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. That's why I made that face. <laughs> don't do that. You pull up. And as you can see, the hair is starting to slide and separate apart. So as you pull it up, the hair that isn't caught in the knot will come up slipping out and the knot will come falling apart you'll see just keep watching the knot will fall apart and all the extra loose hairs that were creating the knot with your hair that's still intact will slide apart you'll see in two seconds look at it almost got it boom boom and just look at the difference that made a lot better Now that I've detangled my entire head, I'm going to get my protein treatment ready. I use the Oikos Greek yogurt, the plain kind. It has 16 grams of protein in it. It's hydrolyzed protein, which means it's attached to a molecule of water, making it easier for your hair to absorb. I put honey in it for strength and shine. And then I have my own little batch of personal oils for my hair that I put in there too. And I mix all that together. And that's my personal protein treatment that I'm going to put all over my hair. I washed my hair with some shampoo first. And it's the same shampoo that matches the conditioner, the deep conditioner, and the leave-in conditioner I'm using in this video. So I'm going to take my clean hair and part it into fours because that's just the easiest way for me to work with. And I'm going to clip the other three quarters to the side and focus on the back left corner first I always go in this same routine every time it's so super cold that protein treatment is cold and it does not have a lot of slip to it so you definitely have to put in some work to make sure that you coat your hair as evenly and as much as possible This is what I'm referring to when I say this protein treatment does not have a lot of slip. You saw my face frowning up because I'm a lot more tender headed now than I used to be. This is not easy to comb through your hair. Do y'all see my face? <laughs> this is not easy to comb through your hair at all. So you have to work quickly and figure out which method is the best method for you to coat your hair with your treatment. I was able to coat my entire head and I was so surprised that I used all of my protein treatment. I never use a whole container. I usually have some left over for another round. So now I'm putting my hair up in a ponytail really quick because I am going to put some shower caps over my hair before I get in the dryer. The shower caps I use are really regular ones I got from probably Walmart. One of them has oil on it and I did not care. So I just kept poking holes through them. I poked the holes in the shower caps so that the heat can be evenly distributed 
throughout my hair instead of just sitting in one spot because I will be under the dryer for about 30 minutes letting this protein treatment do its thing. So I went ahead and washed the protein treatment out after sitting underneath the dryer for 30 minutes. I used the same shampoo that matches the conditioner and look at my hair. I'm in love with that. That screams healthy. Screams healthy. I look like Sideshow Bob, but I love this. I love the way my hair is looking right now in reality and like real life. <laughs> So let's do a quick little length check. I am on a hair growth mission. Y'all know that. And I was very surprised to see that my hair stretched out all the way underneath my chin. This is the deep conditioner that I'm going to use. It matches the shampoo and the conditioner that I've been using and the leave-in conditioner that I'm going to use. It's my absolute favorite. And I'm going to take some of that and I'm gonna take a little more. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in each section of my hair and just evenly distribute it through. I wet my hands because my hair was getting a little dry and I needed a little extra slip. I told y'all I am tender headed now more than I've ever been. So this is the easiest way for me to comb through my hair. Look at them curls. Girl, bye. After I work the deep conditioner through each section, I twist my hair and I finger detangle as I'm twisting it. You probably caught me doing it and you can see me doing it right there too. Just make sure you get all the kinks and curls out of your twist before you finish twisting your hair. I don't know if that makes sense. You just want to make sure that you're not missing any spots or creating any clumps or knots in your hair. You want to smooth twist all the way down evenly distribute the product all the way to the ends. I'm gonna do that to my entire head. I take each twist and bobby pin it to the opposite twist so that my hair will stay in place because I'm not getting under the dryer with the deep conditioner. I'm actually gonna go to sleep with those four twists in my head. I'm going to put another plastic cap over my head not two like I did before, just one will do because I'm going to put a scarf over this. I do still poke the holes in and again for the same reason so that heat can evenly distribute throughout my hair. Just because it's body heat instead of blow dryer heat doesn't make it a difference. And there goes my big old satin scarf. Every butte should have one. And I tie that up and I go to sleep just like that with the deep conditioner in. It's the next morning and girl, I am fine as wine, okay? <laughs> I washed out that deep conditioner with the shampoo and I'm going to add the leave-in conditioner on top of it. Same thing, add a little bit of water, add a little bit of leave-in conditioner, comb it through, and then I'm gonna blow dry it. Y'all, I am so happy with the health of my hair and I owe it largely to whole blends, especially this particular formula, because this one I have used for a very long time and I absolutely love it. I know y'all probably thinking why she blow drying her hair like that. I have not <laughs> had the chance to sit down and properly create a routine to blow dry my hair. I blow dry my hair once a month, maybe once every two months. And by the time I get to blow dry it, I'm really usually probably running out of the door because I'm late or got to be to a hair appointment, which was the case <laughs> in point at this time. So I was really just blow drying it until it was dry. I didn't do anything special to it. I didn't part it in any special kind of way. It's blow dried <laughs> and we're out the door. Cause yeah, I just wanna continue to grow this out. I wanna get down to here. 
before the summer. I think I can do that. I should be able to do that by like May. So yeah, that's gonna be our marker point right there. The top of his ear. <laughs> My hair is thick and it's full and I'm just so happy with it. I thought I damaged it, but I did not. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on with the braids, honey. Hey, beauts. So again, ignore my lion's mane and I have made it home and I am about to eat. I just wanted to show y'all my um new waist trainer that I got. So this is the new waist trainer kind of trend I want to say because I've seen other companies selling them and for cheaper than what I got it. I paid I think like 50 or 60 dollars for mine but they're 30 dollars at other stores that I've seen. So definitely shop around. I don't know about the quality differences, but yeah. This is where we are with this. I like this because you can pretty much just wrap it around and get it as snug as you need to. Y'all know I'm a K-Wear fanatic. Like I've had so many wasty waist, waist erasers <laughs> from K-Wear, but you can only just like, you know, squeeze those together and then strap strap. And I was looking for something else. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. You know how like if you use a product too much, you really don't start to see the results from it anymore. So I wanted to use another product to see if I could find some better results where, you know, just looking around to see what I like. Um, this one, like I said, I do like so far, cause look at this. Look at that, like, <laughs> baby. On my aunties and they prime. Do you hear me? <laughs> this is my favorite part about this waist trainer. The KR Race Eraser, yes, you can put it down here, but it will leave all this part exposed. With this one, especially the more slim that I get, it covers all up here and down here at the same time, instead of like pulling it down or pulling it up and then only covering up one spot. But yeah. You see me adjusting it a lot because I just took it off and then I'm like, dang, I want to show y'all and I just put it back on. Now I'm like, I might as well just leave it on. But that right there, this match up in here, hunting. <laughs> the one thing I can say is about the K-Ray Race Eraser, it um, helped you with that little arch like back here at the top. And I'm not sure if this one would do that because it doesn't have that kind of structure, so to speak. But we'll see because this is definitely going to be my friend. For the next couple months i just got i just got some food so i'm about to eat and watch some marvel i got me a hair appointment and um, cash out has a hairstylist one of her hairstylists anyway um her name is slay by chalet and i've always wanted my hair done by her so chalet is gonna be doing my braids my crazy braids for me she let me skip the line i needed to sell it yes I deserve today. 